Now, to troubleshoot, cross-check all speed and altitude indications on the captain's PFD, the FOPFD, and the standby instruments. Again, depending on your aircraft MSN, you can refer to either the pitch thrust tables in the QR range or the reversible bus switch if you are flying below flight level 250 for newer aircrafts. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel Captain SQ where we're going to discuss on airbus systems, emergency procedures and supplementary techniques on how to fly the plane. What's up guys and girls, what is going on? Welcome to A320 Unreliable Speed. Disclaimer, always refer to your company manuals. This video is merely a guide. And before we start, do click on the like button, subscribe and press the bell for the latest updates. Okay, let us dive into one of the Airbus memory items. Pilots rely heavily on their instruments to fly. When our instruments are giving false data, we would need to take corrective steps. So for unreliable speed, the most likely reason you get wrong airspeed data or altitude information is that the pitot or static probes are blocked. So the computers, namely the ADRs, will detect these false airspeed or altitude indications. These are some of the ECAM alerts that might come out. Sometimes there are some cases where the ADRs do not detect a discrepancy and no ECAM alert is triggered such as blocked static or pitot tubes. The copy indications may appear to be normal but they are actually false. So how do we detect it? The first indication will be a discrepancy between the captain's PFD, FOPFD and standby instruments. Once we realize that we are having erroneous speed, and if safe conduct of the flight is impacted, perform the memory items. The first step of the four step process. Now let us dive into the memory items. Altogether, autopilot off, auto trust off, and flight directors off. I repeat, simultaneously autopilot off, auto trust off, and flight directors off. Below trust reduction altitude, pitch to 15 degrees and set toga trust. Above trust reduction altitude and below flight level 100, pitch to 10 degrees and set climb trust. Above trust reduction altitude and above flight level 100, pitch to 5 degrees and set climb trust. Maintain flap configuration if it is in flaps 0 to flaps 3. If flaps in config full, select config 3 and maintain. Speed brakes check retracted and landing gear check up. When we reach circuit altitude in VMC conditions or above MSA, level off to troubleshoot on the issue. The second step is to stabilize the flight path. For new aircrafts, you can activate the BUSS on the captain's side, FO side or both sides at the same time. If you're flying an aircraft with no reversible BUSS switch, then fly using the pitch trust tables in the unreliable speed indication in the QRH. So as you stabilize the aircraft, some points to take note is to number one, check the actual slat and flap configuration on the ECAM since flap auto retraction may occur. Number two, adjust pitch in order to fly the required flight path. And number three, when target pitch is reached, adjust the truss to target. Now, once the aircraft is flying according to your inputs, then we can start to problem solve, which is the third step. Now, to troubleshoot, cross-check all speed and altitude indications on the captain's PFD, the FOPFD, and the standby instruments. Again, depending on your aircraft MSN, you can refer to either the pitch trust tables in the QR range or the reversible bus switch if you are flying below flight level 250 for newer aircrafts. Warning, do not instinctively reject the outlier ADR. Okay, now the question is, what if we cannot identify the faulty ADRs? We move on to the fourth step. Let's say your aircraft is not equipped with the reversible BUSS. 
We're flying below flight level 250 if we cannot identify the affected ADR or if speed indications are unreliable, the QRH tells us to turn off all ADRs and fly the aircraft using the BUSS. The QRH also tells us to proceed on with the NAV ADR 1, 2, 3 fault ECAM procedure. Let us look at some of the indications first, the moment we switch all three ADRs to off. The BUSS replaces the normal speed scale. It is based on angle of attack information and enables the crew to safely fly the aircraft without any valid airspeed indication. The GPS altitude replaces the barometric altitude, but the last two digits are replaced by amber lines. This is due to the GPS inaccuracy. The vert speed indication is unavailable. When the BUSS is active, the autopilot FDs and auto trusts are inoperative, but the stall warning remains operative. Flight is in alternate law, so your high angle of attack protection and VMO, MMO warning are lost. Direct law when the gear is down. Of course, we don't have our TCAS and ATC altitude reporting system. Now let us see the all ADR off procedure. The QRH will provide guidance to manually control the cabin pressure. There is a table for us to follow. Prepare the approach and landing by calculating the landing distance. As for flying technique, the pilot flying adjusts the pitch and thrust to maintain the angle of attack in the green area of the speed scale. Caution when flying in BUSS, do not use the speed brake. On the approach, the pilots should fly a stabilized approach and change the aircraft configuration with wings level. Do watch my video on stabilized approach. Fly to the lower part of the green band, then extend flaps. Do this for all flaps. Landing gear is extended after flaps too. The landing gear is gravity extend with no retract available. Three hand crank turns. To refresh your memory, the first turn is to depressurize the green hydraulics to mechanically move the cutoff valve. Second turn is to mechanically release the landing gear door up locks. And the third turn will be to mechanically release the landing gear up locks. When landing gear is down, it will be in direct law. Landing will be in flaps 3. Fly the bar which indicates the V approach. And in case we go around, few items that need to be considered are there is no landing gear retract. Before retracting the next flaps configuration, fly the upper part of the green band. 